I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. That the mysterious halo, supposedly caused by Apollo 15's rocket plume, is really just a bunch of bright impact craters. Even before LRO was launched, I had long argued this to be the case. Now, it is interesting to note that certain members from the pro-NASA side have admitted I was right. Sir Mildred Pierce commented, Now I want to give you some kudos, Jarrah. I think you were right to be skeptical of these halos, and I think you've done some good work showing the alleged halos are not the result of the Apollo craft disturbing them. Yeah, he's a nice guy, isn't he? And it was good of you to leave the rest of his comment, and I will recite that. But it is a huge leap and a very obvious logical fallacy to claim that because some people have made a claim based on nothing more than a theory, and that theory turns out possibly to be wrong, to suggest that is proof that the Apollo missions were fake is a big non sequitur. The evidence for the Apollo missions is, is not dependent on this one particular little pixel of information any more than the evidence for evolution can be unraveled by the discovery of one mislabeled fossil. But creationists do dwell incessantly on that kind of thing just as you dwell incessantly on equally trivial stuff. And gone to played said, Hi, Jarrah. And so on. Um, I guess you meant plaid, by the way. But, Jarrah, if you come back tomorrow and say that Alan Shepard didn't really hit a golf ball, quote, miles and miles, you would probably find many of the same people here agreeing with that equally irrelevant point. While these individuals acknowledge that I was right about the halos, their stance is now, just because Jaxa got it wrong doesn't mean Apollo was fake. Okay, so you have read them and you apparently understand them. So why don't you listen to it again? Just because Jaxa got it wrong doesn't mean Apollo was fake. Just because Jaxa got it wrong doesn't mean Apollo was fake. Of all the images, the Apollo 12 photo and the two Apollo 14 photos have excited propagast the most, because they supposedly show the trails left by the astronauts' boot prints. Now, let's listen to some clips from your own video as you set up your arguments against the lunar foot tracks and see if there's anything interesting about them. These cameras were mounted onto the inside of the lunar module's window and subsequently recorded the touchdown, the moonwalk, and the lunar liftoff. These cameras were mounted onto the inside of the lunar module's window and subsequently recorded the touchdown, the moonwalk, and the lunar liftoff. And subsequently recorded the touchdown, the moonwalk, and the lunar liftoff. Obviously, these cameras viewed the landing site from above. Obviously, these cameras viewed the landing site from above. Obviously, these cameras viewed the landing site from above. So we decided to compare the tread marks seen by the 16mm camera with those photographed by LRO. Would you be referring to this camera, which filmed this landing, this moonwalk, this takeoff, and these lunar tracks, none of which would exist if you were correct about the Apollo missions being fake. Incredibly, you have gotten so carried away with trying to debunk the LRO photos that you didn't even realize that in all of these examples you have just admitted that we went to the moon. But it did manage to see the trails left by the astronauts. But it did manage to see the trails left by the astronauts. But it did manage to see the trails left by the astronauts. At face value, everything seems to be okay. Although some of the craters appear slightly off center. Yes, the changes in the relative camera positions could account for that. At face value, everything seems to be okay. At face value, everything seems to be okay. Yes, the changes in the relative camera positions could account for that. 
Yes, the changes in the relative camera positions could account for that. Look at the heart-shaped tracks leading up to them. Granted, it's not terribly clear. Granted, it's not terribly clear. Granted, it's not terribly clear. But compared to the 16mm feed, you can tell that the heart shape in the tracks now appears more looped and somewhat squashed. It is a completely different shape. Despite your attempt to push your agenda by drawing these little pictures over top of the image, I still see it as it actually is. Yes, there are some slight differences, but let's make a couple of points about this while we're at it. First of all, your back-to-back -back comparison here proves that this film was taken from lunar liftoff. As we had no technology back then to resolve craters of this size other than going to the moon. It should also be pointed out that these pictures were taken with the sun shining from opposite directions. And yes, there was a slight difference in camera position. Oh, about 50 miles. Again, the resolution in the LRO photo is very poor. Again, the resolution in the LRO photo is very poor. Again, the resolution in the LRO photo is very poor. But we can make out a noticeable change in the track formation. And look at the noticeable change in these craters. We must have photoshopped that too, I suppose. This photo shows a wider range of the terrain, including Cone Crater, where the astronauts explored, including Cone Crater, where the astronauts explored, where the astronauts explored. There were a couple of places in that radio interview with Phil Plate and Joe Rogan where Joe Rogan made equally self damaging remarks and Phil responded with, We're done here, right? Well, you've just said that the astronauts went to the moon. We're done here, right? But I think we can all see that there is a noticeable, albeit slight, change in the track formation. It is important to note that the moon is geologically extinct and has no air to disturb the soil, meaning that any two photos taken some 38 years apart must show the exact same features. So the question is, did NASA not Photoshop these very well? And what do you think NASA has been trying to Photoshop these images to look like, Jera? Real Apollo photographs from 1971, maybe? You have been using the premise that the Apollo photos were real in order to prove that the LRO photos are fake. It seems like you're getting a little confused again. There has been debate online as to whether or not these tracks could have been left by unmanned rovers, like the Lunokhod vehicles the Russians sent up. Could the Americans have done something similar at the alleged Apollo landing sites? Hmm... I'll bite my tongue along those lines until the LRO beams down photos of the Lunokhod landing sites. Do you mean biting your time? Because biting your tongue is one of the last things you seem to be inclined to do. Well, in either case, you go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to have fun hacking apart your videos. I'll do a follow-up to this, uh, where I deal with the remainder of your video, where you indulge in this bizarre, continued analysis of these footprints. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting.